Well, Mr. Dwyer, my name is Gary Hawkey. I'm the husband of Judith Hawkey. Uh, you asked me to contact you and send you a video of what my comments were. Okay, the first thing I would like to go on about is uh, Judith had her arm around the boy. A neighbor looked through the window and made comments like, this is the day. Okay. Well, I don't think it's, it was so much unusual for Judith to put her arm around that boy. And they say a picture is worth a thousand words. Uh, let me show you one right now, okay? That's Corey and Judith, okay? Let me show you another one, okay? Let me get it in there. Doesn't that arm look like it's around his shoulder? That's Judith again with Corey. Okay, so hopefully that will put an end to that. Uh, there were comments that he ran away because of football. Okay, well that wasn't the issue. He did not want me to marry his stepmom. Okay, but we married anyway. Okay, um, he tried to talk his mom into divorcing me and taking the old man's house. Okay, I mean. Come on, I mean, I was only ever just good to these kids. I mean, uh, it was his issue, not mine. Okay, the next thing is that you claim that he had such a bad childhood, or they claimed, and Emily had such a good childhood. Okay, but there's a, another contributing factor. He had a great child, too. Robert and Judith had a son. Okay, his name is Garrett. He's 15 and a half years old right now. I am raising him, okay? I had to fight through the court to get him, okay? Because job and family services said that they did not know how much involvement I had in this case, which was bullshit. I didn't have any involvement in this case, okay? Other than I was married to her. And I filed an appeal against job and family services with the appeals court, okay? They ruled that since the uh, judicial system there had never recognized me as part of the family unit that they had to deny the appeal, but their heart went out to me. Now, that didn't help me much, okay? But I still had to go through psychiatric evaluation and had to have all our visits monitored until they were okay with it. And they finally gave him up to me, okay? Uh, one of the other issues was he made a statement that his mom tried to cut him in his genital area with a knife. Okay, From what I've been told by family members that uh, he was with Robert at the time this happened, not Judith. Okay, And he was attempting to climb a barbed wire fence when he got caught. Okay, Robert took him to the house where Esky was, and Esky is the sister of Judith Esky Bush. Um, they doctored him up. Okay, so the next thing I'd like to bring up were he told police that Judith was trying to poison me. I got subpoenaed to the grand jury and questioned about this. And I totally knocked it down there. And they once again brought it up again in the trial where I had to knock it down again. Okay, which was upsetting me. Okay, Judith never tried to poison me. Okay, and uh, they also brought up that I raised the life insurance. Well, my agent came to me and goes, Gary, for what's your ban for your policy now? I can get you another twenty thousand dollars worth of coverage for the same money, or maybe a little less. Well, if you were me, wouldn't you jump on that? Which I did. The only thing I had to go through was a physical. Had the nurse come see me and draw blood and send them. Well, I got the results and all that back. Had in the car at the time she was arrested. Uh, the agents wanted that information, which I did provide. Okay, but if she had tried to kill me, okay, certainly they could have went back to my employer, which I have an absolutely great employment record, and attendance was never an issue for me. Okay, so uh, certainly if I was being poisoned. I'd be sick and not going to work, and there would be an absenteeism problem. So this is why they never had no basis for that. Uh, the next thing I wanted to bring up was, okay, the prosecution presented their case and then rested. Okay, now it's the defense's turn. 
Now it's normal protocol. Okay, you put the star on first, and then you bring in the collaborating witnesses. Where well, he did not testify at that time, and immediately my defense spoke up and says, "Well, if you ain't putting the star on, then all this evidence is hearsay because it all comes from the kid." Okay, well they went into chambers, uh, recessed, and they come back, and the and the judge allowed the prosecution to reopen the case. Where at that time he did take the stand. Um, how did the murder weapon get in the house? Okay, I think this is a very relevant question. Uh, well, first of all, from what I was told, it was Robert's mother that brought the gun to the house and demanded Robert take that boy hunting. Okay, uh, okay. I guess that kind of pretty much covers, but. Uh, he had such a bad childhood. I want to show you some more pictures. Okay? Does that look like an unhappy kid? Didn't have anything? That's him on his dirt bike. Okay? Oh, wow. Here's a good one. Here's a picture of his car. Okay? That Judith brought him. Here's a picture of him because the car was put in the car show and he got a trophy. Here's some more pictures of this so-called unhappy kid. That's him with his sister Emily. That's a picture of all three kids together. That look like an unhappy kid to you. Here's a picture of Corey that grew up in the same house. It had no problems, okay? But Corey is the only one that lived in this house that claimed that he was tortured. Oh, I'm sorry. This picture was a Garrett, okay? Kind of rambling through them real quick. Here's another picture of Garrett. Another picture of Garrett. You know, my issue with all these kids, okay, they grew up on life insurance money. Their mom loved those kids to death, okay, and they got everything they wanted, so they ended up being spoiled. Here, I'm a working man, okay, I work a Monday through Friday job. I come into the family and don't have that kind of income, okay, trying to get this family back in perspective and make them successful has been a real chore for me. Plus, trying to help my wife keep her sanity going through all this. Plus, financially paying for all these obligations. So, sir, I thank you for your time. And I could probably have a lot more to say, but this video is only going to last so long. So, but hey, sir, I loved your comments, and I believe you're on more, more on track than these bias TV shows and the bias sheriff's department and that bias prosecutor with the local newspapers and the news media. So this is why I never participated in any of their uh, interactions. And believe me, some of them have contacted me and tried to get an interview. So, But this case is under appeal. I'm hoping it goes well, but I'm doing all I can do. So, sir, I thank you for your time. Bye. Here you go.